I literally just woke up this morning and don't even know how I got here. So uh, you could just give me a second to get things together. God damn it, Mr. Mayu. Does the current state of things not concern you at all? They do. Oh God, of course they do. I do what you gotta do. Raise the stats, pay the rent, you know, get creative. I don't know. Seriously, goodbye. For the second, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we don't actually allow customers in the work area due to insurance purposes, so just gotta. What the hell? What do you want? Name's Gareth Prongle, an agent with the Supa Dupa Supa Spas. What the hell kind of- A local collective of vigilante crime preventers. And I've come to warn you of an imminent terrorist threat. Earlier today, one of our scouts spotted a man carrying a bomb. Since then, some of us have been investigating this block. There's a bomb in your office, Mr. Mounius. Hey, people. I don't know why people can't pronounce my name correctly. No need to call the cops. Uh, yeah, there's a trespasser on my property. He claims there's some type of bomb threat. Right, of course. Lavendale property, just off Peachtree. Damn it, I don't, I literally just did it for you. But this is, this is some type of like weird game, right? It's like some type of hazing ritual. I refuse to let your business perish due to some unresolved threat. Your safety is my top priority. Also, should I conduct my first successful solo initiative, I'll graduate to a higher rank. Okay, uh, tell you what. Let's go look for this bomb, shall we? Thank you for calling the All for One, One for All Corporation. This is Tony speaking. How can I help you? Yes. Understood. We do not. Sorry. I can make an appointment for you at 3.30? Okay. How about 4? 6.30? Now, we don't take appointments after hours. Next week is open if that works for you. Whole week, whole month, whole year, anytime you wish. Good day, sir. May we speak for a moment? Taking a phone call right now? Actually, uh, really important. Sure thing. Hang on a second, all right? How can I help you too, fine gentlemen? I don't believe we've been properly introduced. This is the head of customer service. Cool guy. Cool guy. Got that. The name's Gareth Prongle, agent with Actually, the... Actually, uh, this is an intern. And uh, he's a little nervous, so uh, we're playing a game of spy. Gareth believes that there may be a bomb that was left here by a terrorist. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. the bomb. I believe I've seen it. Where, sir? I've been dealing with it this whole time. Well, what the hell are we waiting for? Enter, you ready? It's the worst business on the planet right now. A fucking shithole, you piece of shit company. <laughs> that is one hell of a bomb threat, Mr. Head of Customer Service. <laughs> and actually, uh, about time you defuse that. No time for games, gentlemen. I'm looking for an actual bomb here. Any help you can provide, sir? Have a great day. Both of you. Fuck this company and fuck you! Oh, no, no, no. This is actually the head of IT. Not to be confused with the head of customer service, which is his cousin. I know. <laughs> um, okay, sir. We've been playing spot. No need to reiterate. He literally doesn't know what we're doing. The new intern's coping with nervousness, so we, uh, we got him playing a game of spy. He seems to believe there's a bomb inside the building. <sighs> yes. The bomb. I've been dealing with it right here. I don't understand, sir. 
And if it keeps this up, it might explode. Ha-ha! It's a virus. And it's going through all the computers in the office. Okay. Let's see if we can't check the security feeds. Okay. Do you want to see the security feeds? All right. This way. Um, hey, boss, can I, uh, die for fuck's sake? Oh! Okay, I'm sure it'd be fine with that. Head of security, uh, the intern and I were just gonna borrow. You know something, boss. Spit it out. I have some projects in tight deadlines currently. So, you would kindly take this fucking wannabe 007 trespasser far away from this godforsaken shithole and don't you even think about coming back to pretend that you give a shit about what I'm having to do to keep my life, my family, and this goddamn business from caving in on its goddamn self? Head slate! Not the head of media production. Scene 8B, take two. Dude, I, I can't continue to let you fuck with my business like this. I'm only trying to help, sir. There is no bomb. If there was a bomb, the head of security would have figured it out by now. The sooner we can rid the premises of the threat, the better. No police or security to complicate the process. Just my leadership. Get the fuck off my property. I will vacate only when the property is rid of the threat. Now! <clears throat> you see anything suspicious? You have the right to remain silent. Good afternoon, boss. Good afternoon, um, head of finances. Right. I've been having trouble keeping track of all you guys. Understood, boss. You know, I haven't heard from the data entry clerk for a few hours. Gotcha. I think they'll be taking some time off work to cool off, perhaps. Works for me. Got a prospect to handle. That's actually the head of HR's job. Oh, of course.